Welcome back to another episode of Home Sweet Home Cooking. I am your host Rocky. This is my mother Kathy and again, as always, in her kitchen. We are going to do a head-to-head -head battle of two no-bake cheesecakes. One of these, the one that I'm doing, has been my favorite for years. This one, I, she's made I think, but I, I don't remember it. I just know I like this one. So we're going to go head-to-head. -head. We're going to make these today and tomorrow we're having a uh, family over for a late Mother's Day and we're gonna put them to the test. Uh, hopefully everybody there will have a little bit of each and see which one they like better. Now do you know what, do you wanna know what my favorite is? Whichever one I'm eating. True, it's cheesecake, cheesecake. And you can put them side by side and I'll have like a piece. Of each. Of each. Yeah. It's, it's whatever's in my mouth. Yeah. But if you are gonna make one, which one would you make? That's what we're trying to get to. Depends on what I had in the cupboard. True. Uh, these are just common off the shelf ingredients for the most part and real simple. Uh, again, no bake. You don't have to heat up an oven. This isn't going to be your New York baked cheesecake kind of cheesecake. Uh, it's going to be a soft, cool, keep in the refrigerator and it'll be a nice, cool dessert for summertime. So let us begin. All right. Now I have frozen cream cheese. When it's on sale, I'll buy it and freeze it. So what I have to do is whip that up a little bit to get it incorporated again. So do you. She says. Yeah, I'm a big fan of using the fresh cream cheese for this, but we use what we use. Uh, first thing you're going to need two, well obviously cream cheese because that's going to be your the base for, cream, for a cheesecake. Uh, two, we just use store bought graham cracker pie crust so you can make your own if you want but this is just to show you how easy it can be. And chocolate crust with this is really good. It is. Uh, so into mine is eight ounces of cream cheese, one third cup of lemon juice, one teaspoon of vanilla. and one can of sweet condensed milk, which is 14 ounces. And what you got going over there, Mom? Well, I've got my cream cheese, and then I need one and three quarters cup of milk. He's got the easiest one. Yeah, that's why I like this one. Four ingredients, five if you count the crust. Two packages of Dream Whip. Which is a powdered form of a whipped cream, whipped topping kind of thing. Yeah, like it's a powdered Cool Whip. Yep. And your uh, those are sold in a box, and there's usually two envelopes in a box, so it's one box. Or make sure you got two envelopes in it. And one small, and I think it's a three ounce package of instant pudding. Vanilla instant pudding and a teaspoon of vanilla. So how many ingredients total in yours? I think I counted Two, six. Three, four, five. Plus the shell. Yes. All right, so six. So minus five, hers is six. That's it. That makes mine better than yours. All right, and then we mix.
You can't hear over the beater when you're beating. Okay, you beat it till it's really, really thick. And it's getting there. Mine, you just beat till the lumps are gone. Yeah, yours is easier. So that makes mine better. Like I said, whatever's in my mouth, that's my favorite at the moment. Okay, you go, you go. And then you just pour it into your graham cracker crust. See how this is nice and thick now. And yours is just running all over. It's smooth, it's velvety. That makes mine better. <laughs> now the lemon, you will taste some of the lemon come through in this, which gives it a bright pop. And I think that's why I like it, is it adds a little bit of acidity to it. Gives it a little bit of almost a fresher flavor. And then he took the good spatula too and left me with a crappy little one. Yes, I did. That's my boy. That is her boy, one of them. Your other son would never do that because your other son would never be in the kitchen cooking with mom. That's true. He can cook, just not to your magnitude. Is that the right word, magnitude? Excellence. Oh. <laughs> oh. Neither one are difficult to do. No, they're quick and easy. Five ingredients for one, six ingredients for the other. And for toppings, tomorrow we're going to use, I think we got a can of blueberry, blueberry pie mix. Uh, you can go all out and make your own if you want, but this we're trying to show you how easy it is to throw something together. So we're not going to go through the effort of making uh, macerated strawberries or anything like that. We're just going to use a can of this and a can of that and throw it together and have a simple, quick, delicious cheesecake for a meal. Now I want to tell you something so you don't do it like someone else did. It wasn't me. I took one of these to work one time for somebody's birthday and they set it on the file cabinet and put the topping on it. Oh, was that a mistake. There was blueberries all down the file cabinet. What you do is put it on the plate and then put the topping on, and yeah. you won't have that mess. Yeah. Or if you really wanted to be cheap, <laughs> take your, get two crusts, for this pie it would work, I don't know about that one, it might. Take two crusts, make one recipe of the filling, and then take a can of your pie topping and mix it into it before you put it into the pie crust, therefore the blueberry toppings are already mixed into cheesecake and then you're using half the ingredients to make two pies, so it'll be a thinner pie, but that's cheating, so. See, mine is thicker, so mine is better. <laughs> we shall see. Um, put them in the fridge overnight, at least a couple hours, let them firm up. Uh, now I can tell definitely by the consistency of mine, and it looks like even hers, it is probably better to use unfrozen, never just, you know, fresh, not frozen um, cream cheese. I can definitely see a little bit of difference in the consistency, but it's not going to matter in taste. Right. So, either way, you know, if you get them on sale, put them in the freezer, great. Then you have them. And you have them. Um, like I say, other than the cream cheese being in your fridge, lemon juice lasts forever in mine. Uh, and a can of the sweet and condensed milk will last forever on a shelf. Oh, okay. Nothing on hers with the exception of the milk, and most people have enough milk to do this. There's nothing that you have to really go out and buy that you can't store with the exception of you'd have to free, uh, freeze your cream cheese. One time I did have a can of that sweetened condensed milk and it caramelized. It was all brown and yucky inside. I don't know if that was yucky. It was probably pretty good to me. So overnight these are going to sit and we'll get back to this tomorrow and uh, we'll show you what they look like. We'll eat it tomorrow. Oh yeah, we'll eat it tomorrow and have a, have a taste test. So we will catch you in for us a long time, but for you it's going to be like... So it's been over 24 hours. They're both set up. This is number one. This is number two. We've got guests here, so we're not going to say who made which. And these two, one, two, three, four people are going to decide which one they like better. So we get these cut up. And I'll show you what they look like. Uh, 
you gotta do to cut through is make sure you get through the graham cracker crust on the bottom, otherwise it'll break up. Alright, so this is what we got going on here. Number one is more white in color. Number two is the one that's a little bit fluffier and yellow in color. So we're going to pass these out and we'll get back with the tally. Well, well, well. My family is a bunch of ingrates. <laughs> my pie, number one, my cheesecake, is my favorite. I'm the only person that voted for it. I like this pie, the, the white, the, the yellow one, and it's just to me, it's, it's like a pudding type of texture, and I'm very, I don't like, sorry Southerners, I really don't like banana pudding because it's pudding. I don't like pudding. So this one to me, it's a texture thing. I love the taste of it, but it's a texture. If I could combine somehow the texture, the, the, the flavor of this, and get a little more firm towards that, I don't know. I really don't know. So my family doesn't agree with me. I've been voted down. I've been shot down. One, two, three, four, five, five to one against my cheesecake. Mm -mm. But the only <laughs> you bunch of ingrates. Anyway, you gotta try them both. See what you think. Now these aren't your typical uh, New York cheesecakes. They're not baked, so they're not gonna be firm like a cheesecake. This is a no bake treat, so I guess it's more like a cream cheese no bake pie, if you want to call it that. Uh, top it with some strawberries or some blueberries. We just use canned pie filling. It's great like that, or you just eat it the way it is. Uh, I can't, I can't believe the loss. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video, and I hope you guys tried both of these. And uh, or if you have your own no bake cheesecake recipe, put it in the comments down below. Thumbs up, subscribe, share, do all the good stuff that we ask you for, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.